In this video, we are going to evaluate 10 times cotangent of arc cotangent 3 plus arc cotangent 7 plus arc cotangent 13 plus arc cotangent 21. This problem is from the AIME 1984. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To evaluate this expression, one thing that we have to notice is that these terms are in nature angles. So you can treat them something like theta, alpha, beta, gamma, etc. Those kind of traditional variables that are used for angles. So for simplicity, let's see what would happen if I restrict the expression into only two terms. Say if I, I'm just going to add Cotan arc cotangent 3 and arc cotangent 7 together, and then I have to apply the cotangent function onto that number. So in general, if I were to simplify this, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 over tangent by definition, and then it's the compound angle formula. Now simplifying, I will have this, but we're not done yet because I want to rewrite this in terms of cotangent theta and cotangent alpha because we know that cotangent theta under our definition is equal to 3 while cotangent of alpha is equal to 7. So if I can rewrite that in terms of cotangent, then I can put the numbers directly into that expression. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and denominator by tangent theta times tangent alpha. So I'm going to get one over tan theta tan alpha, all subtracted by one, divided by 1 over tan alpha plus 1 over tan theta. That means I will end up having cotangent theta times cotangent alpha minus 1 over cotangent alpha plus cotangent theta. Now from this we can say that if I only add the first two angles if I only consider the first two angles, then I will get 3 times 7 minus 1 over 3 plus 7, and that's 2. So this is what's going to happen if I only consider two angles. Now, back to the main problem. So let me unhide the other numbers. Now, from what we've done, we know that cotangent of the two angles theta and alpha, when we add them, we get 2. So I can combine these two terms and say that it's actually equal to arc cotangent, let me write it here, is arc cotangent of 2. And I, and I can apply this together with arc cotangent 13. And I can follow the mechanism that I've established just now. So after that, I can say that using a similar formula, I can say it's equal to arc cotangent of, referring to this, this line, is 2 times 13 minus 1, all divided by 2 plus 13. So it's arc cotangent of 5 over 3. And then I can replace the sum of these three expressions by arc cotangent of 5 over 3. 
And so I can repeat this and say that it's r cotangent of 5 over 3 times 21 minus 1 all divided by 5 over 3 plus 21. And that's equal to r cotangent of 34 divided by 68 over 3. So we do a division on the fraction. And we know that it's r cotangent of 3 over 2. So that means our final answer is equal to 10 times cotangent of arc cotangent 3 over 2. And that is exactly 10 times 3 over 2. And so 15 is our final answer.